sorry I'm upside down. I gotta fix me. There I am. Hey guys, how are you guys this afternoon? Um, y'all know Wednesday I try to go a little earlier. I may even go live again tonight. It just depends. But see, here's my thing. I don't watch very much TV at all. Honestly, I watch more reruns than real TV. But I do watch Wednesday night because I do like The Masked Singer. So that's why I go early on Wednesdays. Um, hey, Roberta, how are you guys? How are you today? So when you hop on, say hello. And let me know, do you have enough toilet paper? Are you stocked up? So let me get this in there. All right, so here's what we're going to do tonight. Today, tonight, whatever. Let me know. Y'all, do y'all have TP? Let me tell you. If you live in the town where I do, my husband might be part of the problem. He has gotten toilet paper a couple of times, and then I come home today, and there's a humongous thing from Amazon of toilet paper. So, my eye's good. So, if you are in Lake Park and you find yourself running out of toilet paper, let me know, and I might can hook you up because we seem to have a lot. Um, so, um, last night, my eye's fine. You can't even tell anything happened to it. The only thing is it's a little dry today and a little itchy, but like as far as, that's not even the one that I hit, it's this one. Um, you can't even, it's not red or anything. Last night it was really red, but it's not. And for those of you that missed, I had hot grease pop out right in my eye. And the thing of it is, is it went in right there and it went into the eyeball. I don't know how it did that, but it did. So here's what we're going to do today. I went to Hobby Lobby today. Hey, Kathy Bo, how are you? Went to Hobby Lobby today and I got some supplies. And I was supposed to get my nails done, and I went to go get them, and she wouldn't let me in the door because I had been on a cruise, and she said, you can't come in until you've been 14 days quarantined. And I was like, I haven't been quarantined at all because they didn't tell us we had to. So, anyways, I couldn't get my nails done. I have to wait now until next week, and I was already a week behind. But that doesn't really matter. I don't even know why I told you that. But here's what we're doing. I went to Hobby Lobby, and I got some stuff today. I got these candle holders. And I was looking for cheap because here's what I want to do. I want to take these houses and I want to mount them on the candle holder so that, let me go ahead and turn where you can see. I want to mount them on the candle holder and we're going to make it into a birdhouse. I know y'all, I must have the virus. I'm making all of this phobia, bird phobia stuff for myself. Um, so that's our plan for today. And then I'm going to see if my husband can work on some little option of this so I don't have to go by. We have a ton of spindles where we changed out our our um, stairway. So I think he might can make me something. I got this wooden one, but here's the problem on it. It has this cup thing on there, and I don't think that's going to give it enough room for the, like this one to give enough contact for the house to sit on top of it. So here's what, what else we're going to do. Let me show you what else I got. I got these at menards in the paint department and i just used a pair of scissors and cut them so that they overhung just a little bit and were flat at the top so we're going to paint those black i also got a dowel rod and just cut off a little bit of it with a saw we're going to paint that black and y'all i got these cute little bee buttons at hobby lobby they were adorable um, they were in the scrapbooking stuff, and they were half off today. So here's what we're going to do first. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to paint our house. All right? So because it needs to be drying so we can we can um, chalk on it. I was like, what are we going to do? Look at these little things my husband got me from Amazon. I, don't, I think there's like six or eight in a pack. But they let you put your stuff up. It holds it up so that you can paint. Um, your quarantine, oh, because, yeah, I'm sure you probably need to use them, but, um, yeah, she told me I cannot come in that nail salon today, because I needed to be quarantined since I've been on a cruise. I was like, well, I've been running around all day today. Um, all right, so let me get a little tray, and I'm going to paint this red. Now, I was thinking about painting this black, but this is metal. So if I decide to paint this black, it's going to have to be painted with spray paint because I don't think this acrylic paint is going to do that great on it. So I'm just going to pour a little red paint in here. 
Ooh, or a lot of red paint. I'm, or I'm going to pour a lot of red paint in here. Oh, I just realized when I got over here, I needed a, a paintbrush for red and a paintbrush for black. Now, I'm going to paint both sides of this and the, the outside edges. So I'm just going to go ahead and get those outside edges because I'm really bad to paint the front part of it and then realize that I didn't paint the edges. And they're hard to get once you've already painted the front. Now, the other thing I really like about these little yellow things is where this is going over, normally it would dry to, okay, what are we going to do here, Jill? Um, this. It would normally dry um, and stick to my cardboard, but it's not going to do that because it's not going to be touching the cardboard. So then I'm going to lay it back down like that. Is, aren't those little things handy dandy? And then I'm just going to, oops. Apparently I got a little drip right there. Let me see if I can clear that drip up because I don't want it to drip on my mat. All right, so I'm just going to, and here's the thing on this, y'all. I'm going to distress this anyways, so I don't need this to be um, like solidly colored in. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want that there though. All right, so there's the red. Now, I'm going to flip this over and paint this other side in just a minute. Um, no, but I have one set in the box, Kathy, so I will, um, I will um, let you know that later. I, he brought me two sets, one for over here and one for at the house. So I've got two sets of them, so I'll figure out what they're called. And I need another paintbrush, so let me grab a paintbrush really quickly. Because I need to paint this black stuff that I need. But aren't they cool little things? I mean, how neat are they? All right. And I may not have to pour out much black because I just have just little stuff to paint. I usually try to paint. Hey, Peggy. Hey, Charlene. I usually try to paint ahead of time. But I thought, well... We'll just paint today. Y'all, I've got so many great ideas. Listen, if you need um, ribbon, let me tell you about this online place. I just spent, like, I just ordered like 20 rolls of ribbon today there. Thank you, Peggy. I just about, I think I ordered 20 rolls of ribbon. It's called Craft Outlet. And they have the neatest ribbon. I even went to Hobby Lobby because I'm like, okay, before I order this ribbon, I'm going to go see what Hobby Lobby has because their ribbon is at least half off today. So let's just see what they have. And I came home with no ribbon from Hobby Lobby, and I ended up ordering that ribbon I had in my cart. So it's craftoutlet.com, and they have the neatest ribbon. So now the bad thing is, is I won't get it till next Friday. But they had free shipping because I ordered enough to get free shipping. But um, they had bee ribbon. I got some really cute bee ribbon to go with some of our bee projects. I got um, some ribbon that had kind of watermelony colors to it for the summer watermelon projects. I got some lemon. I got. I think I got some with a bicycle on it. I can't even remember now. And then I got some like coordinating colors so I can make those little rag bows. Oh, you, yes. Yeah, see, I, just, I think Peggy and I, if we lived near each other, we would be very dangerous for one another. All right, so now I'm just painting this little dowel and that is going to be my little bird's nest. And so, now, like I said, y'all, I must have that coronavirus and the Fever done got to me because I'm doing another bird project. This is like three within a week, and y'all, I'm terrified of birds. So, all right, so I got that. Now, I do have um, some baby wipes here, and y'all don't have to get mad at me. I got these baby wipes long before the corona was on the world. So, I, I didn't go buy baby wipes that babies would need. These have been over here for probably six or seven months. I forgot I had them. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my blow dryer and blow dry this stuff so that I can dry the other side. Okay, 
But yes, Peggy, I spent I don't know how long this morning looking at ribbon on Craft Outlet. So those are getting hard to hang on to. They want to flip around. Let's see. This looks pretty good. And like I said, I'm going to chalk over it. So I'm not that concerned about. I should have brought some water over here to put my paintbrushes in. Okay. So I poured out way too much red paint. But yes, and I will show you. I will see if I can find. And take a picture of those because like I said I believe I have a set of these little paint stands at the house that are still in the whole packaging so we can see what they are so I got in today from Chalk Couture I got in the nautical stuff so we're gonna do some nautical stuff I want to do some paint pours with that nautical stuff because I think they will look really pretty on some of those paint pour things so I want to practice doing the paint pour on wood and see if that works. I uh, also, let me think, what else did I decide I wanted to do this week? I also wanted to do some bee stuff, but I probably will wait because I want my ribbon in that's not coming until next Friday. I mean, I could have paid more, but I had free shipping. Hi, Janice. All right, so I've got that. I do still need to do the backs of these. And somewhere I lost my little bird perch. So I have it somewhere in here. So we're just taking the houses and we're going to make them into a bird house using a candle base that I got at Hobby Lobby. I dreamed this up last night. So it, then it kept me awake. Does anybody else do that? I used to do it with lesson plans all the time. I would come up with this really good lesson in my head. And then I would have to get up and go write it out because I can go back to sleep. So today, I couldn't wait to get up and get through with my online teaching so I could go to Hobby Lobby and get the stuff I need. All right, so let me put this black back in. And then um, we're going to get started. I'm going to dry this one more time, make sure it's getting dry. I don't know. I'm trying to save a little bit of paint. I don't know why this paint's cheap at Walmart, but you know, I just threw away my little paint um, containers though. I could have used these. Okay, so let me get the paint out of the way before I end up with paint all over me. We're going to hit this with the dryer one more time. Oh, I got some. Come on. All right, got it out. shirt already had black paint on it but it's got a little more now that's all right turn it on low still gonna blow these over right away so they're close enough I did lose my little there's my little perch all right so I'm gonna set these things out of the way because I'm not gonna need them right away I'm gonna make sure this is good and dry
this is why I usually paint before I come on because it takes me forever. I hate waiting on the paint to dry. And then I just realized I don't really have to worry about the top because I'm putting those little black roofs over the top of them anyways. So I'm going to hide my little, put my little paint holders back. And I'm done with that for right now. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a sanding block and this towel that's ready to be washed. And I'm just kind of going to go around the edges on this so that I can get that little bit of white showing through. I don't want a whole lot, but I do want a little. Sorry about that. I'm shaking, y'all. You're probably getting sick. All right, so I'm just taking off a little bit of the red so that it's not quite so hard. Now, I will say, y'all, this is chalk paint. So if you use chalk paint, it will distress quicker than acrylic paint will. So you want to try to be real careful if you don't want it really um, distressed. All right, so I'm done with that. I'm going to put that back where it goes. And then I'm going to really quickly just kind of wipe this down and decide which what side I want to use because I need to wax it. So I need to decide what side I'm going to use. I also need to figure out what color paste I'm going to use on it too. All right, so we're going to wax this down. I'm going to go ahead and wax both sides. Just because it's a chalk paste or a chalk paint, it really needs to be waxed to seal it anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and hit both sides. And um, don't forget, those of you that are not designers, if you want to be entered into the drawing Sunday night for sprinkling, sprinkle and then let me know that you did. Or you could start a watch party if you wanted to, too. Those are good, too. All right, so I'm just kind of going through. And hopefully not making y'all sick. All right. So we're done with that. Now we're ready to pick our transfer. And this is from the house patterns. And it's got four or five patterns in it. I think I'm going to use this side just because I'm not a huge fan of the way that did right there. Um, I am going to try to clean my hands up because they're waxed and they've got red on them and I kind of look like I might have been, been involved in a murder. But I, So let me clean these off because it's looking pretty rough. <laughs> looks terrible. All right. It's just going to have to do. All right. So we need to decide what we want, what pattern we want on our little house. Um, I'm not, a, I don't know, y'all can tell I hardly ever use this bind. I just don't, I don't love it like I love the rest of them. So I think, I think I'm going to use this quarter foil. I use it every time. I can't help it. I really do like it. And I need to be careful because it doesn't, I have, I, because I really, really like it, it has been used really, really well. So I need to make sure I get it on there well. And then somehow I've got this horrible crease in it. So I think I'm going to use like a, um, because of the, the stand that I'm going to use is kind of an off-white, and it's obviously been distressed a little brown, I'm going to use an off-white white paste. So let me grab a couple of off-white options. And we'll see what we like. All right, so I've got, so let's see what I've got. I've got fawn and iced coffee. 
and more fawn. So I've got all, I think I'm going to go with one that's just a tad bit darker because it looks a little more brown. And it does need water, so let me give it a little stir. Looks like it might need a lot of water. We'll see. I might not have got that one closed the last time. Oh, no, it's all right. Okay, so I'm going to stir that up. I want to get it to the consistency of um, yogurt, mayonnaise, cake batter, whatever. Whichever, pick, your, pick whichever one you want. I am going to try to incorporate back in to this some of the stuff that's on the side. So when I close this back up, I'm going to put me a good squirt of water in it when I'm done so that it can sit there with that water, okay? All right, so... Now, even if you watch on the replay, like if it's not live right now for you, um, you can still share. That's still an option. And comment if you do. And I will appreciate it. All right, so I'm going to take a squeegee. Now, here's what you want to do. If you have one that pattern that's not sticking well anymore or you've used it quite well, if you've loved it a lot, then what you want to do is you want to put your paste down the middle And you want to spread it to the sides, not up and down. Definitely don't go more than one way, okay? So I'm just going to spread to the sides. Because once you get it on there a little bit, then it'll hold itself. The paste will hold it down. Not a little bit too much right through there. But when you first start, put that paste down the middle and go to the outsides, and that will get it where it'll hold it for you until you're ready. All right. So now we're ready to pull that. All right. I'm going to put that back on its little on the transfer, and I'm going to clean it as soon as I get off of here. And then I'm going to dry this, and then we're going to make this into a birdhouse. I probably should put on my glue gun. Let me grab my glue gun because we're going to need it here in a little bit. So let me get it started for us. And I don't know, for some reason today seems like a Friday for me. I don't know why. Like it's kind of weird. I don't need any more of these transfers. So I'm going to move them out of my way too. I end up with more stuff on my desk. And then I don't really have room to do what I need to do because I have all that junk on my desk. So let me lay that out. All right, so I'm going to, I don't need these anymore. I haven't decided if I'm going to use any of this stuff yet. So maybe we'll see. I think this is going to look really good with this color of candlestick that I got. I got this. I think this candlestick was $8.99, so maybe it was $4.50. They were on sale today. All right, so now what I'm thinking is I want to make the bird hole. For, you know, it's going to be a birdhouse, so it needs a bird hole. I do need to fuzz this transfer because I haven't yet. But instead of making it a round circle, I'm thinking about making it a little heart for the bird. I don't know. What do y'all think about that? What do you think about a heart for the bird? The little hole for the bird? Well, let me know what you think. Is that a good idea or should I just paint it? I could just paint a circle if you think a circle would look better. And I don't know why, that seems like lately the responses are so delayed on Facebook. My sister's like, you keep hollering at people to comment, and they are. And I'm like, I know, but it's because it's so delayed. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do the, <laughs> I just saw that B go up with some hearts. Thanks, Peggy, for the hearts. And I'm like, oh, there's a B emoji now. I'm an idiot sometimes. All right, so let me put this on there. 
and get me a little squeegee to put it on with. All right, and I might use the family part of this too. I haven't decided. Oh, it's a little off center. My little bird hole place is a little off center, I think. All right, so now what I'm going to do is we are going to, I'm going to dry that real quick. Thanks, guys. And I hope that I brought my, I know everybody's online right now. That's what I told Archie yesterday. I was like, um, I'm seriously having issues with my computer, but I really think it's because everybody is online right now. All right, so let's see if my glue has started warming up yet. Yes, it has. I want, I need to get me one of them big old mega glue guns. You know what I'm talking about? Those ones that are, um, that you don't have to plug up and then they're huge. All right, so I just stuck on the little, I don't know, the little place for the bird to stand. And then my thought is that we would put a little of this raffia around that. I don't know. So let me see. I may have to break out that E6000. I brought some E6000 because that's what I'm going to use on the bottom. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of glue around. And let me see if I can get that to stay down. And then I'm going to press this around. I do know this. If I put this sticky, this, um, Green, not greenery, this whatever this is called on first. I don't think the, the bird holder will stay at all. And it doesn't want to stay right now. Like it wants to lift up. Let's see if it's going to stay. Not sure that the hot glue is the best glue for sticking that piece of wood. Probably could have used wood glue or something. I might have to practice on this little, getting this little stick to stay down. All right, so now, I'm gonna cut that little bit off. I don't want like crazy out of the way, you know what I mean? All right, so yeah, my little um, stick is not sticking very well, so I may have to consult the engineer in the house about what I should have used. Now, here's what I was thinking, y'all. I was thinking about putting family down here on the bottom. I think I am, but I also th am thinking I might move that out of the way because it's not playing well. All right, so let me get a little, little bit of black paste. We'll get the black paste and we're almost through chalking y'all, for real. The only thing left is just putting it together. Now, I did get that E6000 glue, so I'm hoping that it will hold it together. Oh, I like the family on there. Put this out of the way, and I will clean it later. Get this out of the way, because we're done with it now. So far, I'm liking it. Even though, you know me, I'm not a bird person. All right. So, next thing we need to do is I want to put the toppers on it. What did I do with them? Oh, here they are. So, and you know what might be my issue is maybe I sh the wax on it may be causing me trouble with my hot glue sticking. That could be my issue. 
Y'all, this is super cute. I will let you see the front of it in just a second. And I didn't bring any ribbon over here because I knew it wasn't going to be glued and stuck yet real well. So I didn't want to mess with it. I'm trying to put some ribbon on it. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? And now we're going to put it on this so that it makes it look like, oh, hey, Amy. Isn't that cute? All right, let's not stick my fingers in the family, though. Now, I also, which I don't know that I'm going to use them. I also got some little, oh, I don't know. I kind of like it. I also got these cute little bees. I might put some bees on there, y'all. Oh, sorry, you can't even see it. I might, I might put some bees on there. I kind of like the little bees. I don't know. I'll make that decision later. All right, so now what we're going to do is I got this E6000 glue. Now, it doesn't dry immediately. So when I go to use it, I have to um, hot glue it. Yeah, I thought those bees were really cute. They also had um, ladybugs, too. And I got them in the scrapbooking department. They were half off. All that paper craft stuff is half off right now. Okay, so y'all, I have never, ever used this E6000. But here's what I think you have to do. I think you have to put, hold on, let me get this open because otherwise my hot glue is going to dry before I even start. Okay, so punch a hole in this. And then I think what I need to do is I need to go around the top of this with E6000. And if this doesn't work, I hope it doesn't mess up this cute candlestick. All right, and then I hear that you should also put hot glue on it but that seems like that wouldn't be so i'm gonna put the hot glue on this and set it down and then here's the thing i'm gonna have to hold it y'all until that glue sets up and then what i'm going to do to hide i'm going to use some more of this little raffia stuff to hide right there where that cup is and then I think I'll probably tie a bow but I did not go over there and look to see what I had bow wise before but I do think I might put some of those little um oh you know what else I got well that wouldn't make sense I also got some of those little eggs you know what I'm talking about those little tiny little eggs but I don't think you want to put an egg out there because a bird wouldn't put the egg outside they put it in the house well, maybe this sets up pretty quick, y'all, because it's it's actually going pretty quickly drying. All right, let me just put a little raffia on the front. I might need to take a little bit from the back because I'll put way more in the back. All right, so I'm going to put a little more raffia up here in the front. I may have to get the hot glue to do this. We'll see. But I do think it's cute. Okay, so I, here's what I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to see if Archie can make me a pillar so I don't have to worry about having this opening at the top and I would have more room for where that hits the... Where I would have more contact with the house. You know what I'm saying? Like... This doesn't have a whole lot of contact with that house, so I'm hoping it doesn't fall over. And I want to put all of this up there because I want to hide that lip. All right. I need to trim the back a little bit because it's wackadoodle back here. It's a little crazy. It's a little too much back there. All right, so there that is. Let's see how the front looks. The front, I still need probably a little more glue to hold it up. We put a little more glue on the front to put that in the front together. And then let me see if I can push it up there. I'm scared that this glue is getting really hot. And I'm sitting here having to put my finger on that where you can. There we go. All right, that's it. That's going to be as good as it gets today. All right, so now I think, I, I like this. This little candlestick was in the 
obviously in the candle section at Hobby Lobby. It was $8.99 and it was half off. And then the trees, or not the trees, the houses come in a pack of two for $12.99, I think. And then I got these at Menards or in the paint department. You can get them, and I cut them with a pair of scissors. The dowel I cut with the um, saw. And I think that was all I did. That was it. That was all of it, which I'll think. But I do think I might want to put a little B. Let's put a little B. I want to get it where you can see the whole thing. Let me see if I can do that. Oh, that's better. And then let's see. Where should we put the little B? Oh, okay. Obviously, the glue had not set up yet. <laughs> I just knocked him. So I think what I'm going to do is see if Archie can make me something to put on the top so I can get better. All right, what do you think? Did I, did I mess it up with the bee? I think the bee's kind of cute. All right, there we go. There's our little birdhouse. Um, I also got in today some of the tiny little banners because I want to make, I've got two things to make an Easter banner with. I'm going to use the... Um, the fabric banners we have to make an Easter banner with the Easter egg transfers. And then I'm going to use, I have some um, of those unfinished banners that we got before, like I did the home and stuff with, that has um, Easter stuff on it. So we're going to make a banner with that. I'm still getting that painted. It took me forever to get that painted. But there's our little birdhouse for today. And I will see you guys later. Y'all have a great rest of your night.